Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus. This is what we got going on for March 11, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarabarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. I do read for all 12 signs, not only Virgos. So, tarabarbie.com. Let's get a Virgos coming with the devil, the nine of swords, and the temperance card, Virgos. You guys could have been dealing with another Virgo, a Sagittarius, a Pisces, a Capricorn, an Aquarius. Hmm an Aries, and a Taurus, and a Libra. <laughs> All right, Virgos, you guys definitely have somebody who's at a very low vibration, who's very much so obsessed with you at this time, coming in with the devil card. It could be somebody who's financially successful with the King of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. This person is more so focused on their work with at the moment, but they are also keeping you very, very close to their heart space at the as well. But they are very low vibrational, Virgo. Somebody here may also do drugs as well, and it kind of messes the relationship between the two of you guys. Also, Virgos, this person might be stressed out about you thinking that they may have lost you with the nine of swords to the ten of wands and they, you know what virgos they very well could be uh losing you at this time especially if this person suffers from some sort of addiction that they can't overcome also virgos coming with the ten of wands nine of swords it looks like virgos if you guys are going to be going through some sort of court battle here it looks like it's going to end up becoming a loss for somebody all right you guys may be reaching some there's going to be a virgo who's thinking about wanting to talk to you communicate with you send you a message or even a phone call but more so a text message where it goes and you guys might be asking this person like hey like what is it that you're messaging me for what exactly is it that you need? <laughs> uh, this person's going through a lot at the moment Virgos they're definitely sleeping up staying up all night uh, they're filled with lots of they're going through a lot going through a lot of burden um, whatever path this person thought that they were going to be able to be successful on it was a complete opposite also Virgos you guys need to be careful on anybody who's going to be asking you for any type of money if this person asks you for money do not expect this person to be giving you back your money it's not going to happen as a seven of swords to the six of pentacles if you guys were to give this person money they're not going to pay you back for it all right Angels are going to be working in your favor to balance everything out uh, for what these people are trying to do to you. You guys got an Aries Leo Sagittarius who might be so miserable and everything like this. But you guys are coming in as the high priestess right there. Okay, so you guys have people who are in your energy who are trying to take from you, steal from you, be deceptive on you. And um, they're saying that you're definitely, that you're standing in your power, that you already know what's going on. So nobody can try and get you or get you get got, for instance. And they're going to end up suffering. Five of Cups. They're going to be at a huge loss emotionally, physically, spiritually. They're going to be losing in every area. This Aries Leo Sagittarius thinks that they're going to be able to get away with what they've done to you. But from what I'm seeing here is angels are going to make sure they get their karma for what they've done to you. Oh, you think that the angels didn't see the shit that you're trying to pull on this on this high priestess or this Virgo, for instance, or this earth angel, light worker, whoever, for, for whoever. You think that you got away with it with the Queen of Wands? You're running away from the Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and it's, you're running away from the highest masters of angels, the ascended angels, uh, God. You're running away from, from divinity, and you think that you're going to be able to get away with it? No, you're not. We're going to make sure that we're going to put you in the Five of, five of Cups energy, and you're going to be at a huge loss of Who's the last card? It's the High Priestess. Because you guys know damn well that this person is pulling some shit on you guys, all right? You guys have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Scorpio, and Energy, and Aquarius, who might be sleeping with some sort of escorts, and they don't even realize that they're escorts because the way that they come off, they might be really cute, pretty, they put themselves together, whatever the case is, Virgos. Somebody here does not realize that they're sleeping with escorts, but the truth is about to come out with the Moon card in reverse. Um, though They're, they're going to find out about it. They might have not known about it for a while, but they're going to find out about it. Somebody here sleeps with a lot of friggin' women or a lot of men and don't realize what it is that they're, who it is that they're sleeping with. Eh, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Uh, they're going to find out about it just now. Also, Virgos, be mindful of the deceptive energy that this person is bringing towards you, a Pisces and an Aquarius. These people are very, very deceptive on you, Virgos, all right? And, <clears throat> huh? Mm? <laughs> what? Virgos, make sure that nobody tries to steal anything from you guys as well. You guys might have people in your energy who might try and steal something from you, whether it be money, whether it any energetically steal something from you. Somebody here is going to be trying to steal something from you guys, and it's not going to be looking good for them with the death card to the tower card. That's two 
negative energies that is put together. A negative is a negative is a fucking negative. <laughs> Someone's going to be like, a negative plus a negative actually equals a positive in the comments. Like, I already fucking know. Like, I'm not. I can see it already happening. All right. Uh, uh, Bye. Okay. Don't nobody care. Negative plus a negative equals fucking negative. All right. It is what it is. All right. So there's going to put this Scorpio here. Who is trying to pull some stupid shit on you guys, Virgos. They're going to end up becoming very, very miserable. A lot of destructive energy. You guys are going to put a complete ending with when it comes to this person's energy. If you guys are supporting other people's drug habits, I ask you guys to please be mindful on why you guys are doing something like that. Why are you supporting somebody else's drug habits for? If anything was to God forbid happen to them, OD, whatever, you're going to feel that energy on you for the rest of your life. Please stop supporting other people who have drug habits. Please stop giving them your money. Who cares if they fucking manipulate you and then emotionally convince you and I need money. Wah. Who gives a shit? Who cares? Why are you helping somebody who has addictions like this? The last thing you want is to have anything on top of your head saying that yeah, I supported that person's drug habits and then now and they OD and then something goes bad. Please always be mindful, Virgos. And let the person know, no, I can't help you with something like this, but I can help you get rehab, help you detox yourself, for instance, okay? Because it could be very, very detrimental if uh, if somebody here was to continue to support someone's drug habits. You guys have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's definitely in their feelings right now, but this more so that this person is very deceptive and it's not something that you guys want to trust in your energy. You guys are going to be walking away from this person during the full moon as well, uh, Virgos. <clears throat> you guys this person's gonna be trying to find ways on how to like keep you around whatever the case is but they're more so emotionally manipulative for that you guys are going to continue to move on with your life eight of cups and you don't want nothing to do with this person because you guys are seeing them for exactly who it is that they are if anybody here is going to be doing some sort of spell work on the full moon energy is in that this person's energy is going to be completely blocked two swords blockage four of pentacles block eight of pentacles not working nothing's happening not no motivation whatever the case is you guys are going to continue to stay cautious of everything around you with the knight of pentacles full card you guys might have a new person coming into your energy virgos uh you know this person seems to be like wanting to be loyal to you but it also comes in with a lot of um a lot of mistakes and a lot of imperfections at the same time so this is somebody who might be very young or they're just young hearted or they're just young in the mind which makes them immature so you guys are kind of cautious about the way that this person is moving and it's not something you guys are interested in all right coming with the hangman emperor this person wants to come in and talk to you at the moment but you guys need to be mindful that whatever it is you guys are going to be saying to this person you guys might end up saying or speaking up a little bit more than you guys should be so please be mindful with the things that you guys are saying to this person because even though you guys might be saying some harsh words to this person you guys will end up being very much so embarrassed and might have anxiety with the way that you guys ended up actually saying something like this. Because how I'm seeing you guys conversation, if you guys are sitting in the same room together, this person's going to be sitting down while you're going to be standing up. And let me tell you, the one who's sitting down has more control, more power. They're showing you like, yeah, I'm sitting down, I'm comfortable, and I'm not afraid of you. Even if you are standing up, I'm still not afraid of you. So speak up, say what you want to say. And once you guys do that, you guys fall into the embarrassment and maybe even get anxiety or whatever the case is regarding this because you feel like you can't defend yourself because you put yourself in a position now. Words can't be taken back. You said what you said. And I've always told you guys this before, Virgos. I always said, make sure you pay attention to what people are saying when they're angry. I've said this to you guys a million times. Be mindful. Make sure you're listening very carefully. Don't hear the person out. Listen to the person. Because the last thing you want is, is go one through it, out, one, out one ear and out the other. You want to listen. You want to listen to what people are saying to you, especially when they're in their feelings, when they're mad, when they're emotionally upset. You want to hear this. You want to you listen to this carefully, right? So this person is just going to be sitting there listening to you speak. Yes, they are going to talk to you here and there. But you're going to be taking more control of the situation and speaking up and saying what you guys want to say at the end of the day. And you want to be mindful with what it is that you're saying because there is no take backs with the things you say. If you're going to say something mean, this person is never going to forgive you for it. At the bottom of the deck, you got the eight of wands. 
expect communication coming in for you virgos and this person's going to be you guys are going to be arguing with each other but you're going to be sitting in your power all right maybe a leo or a taurus here some of you guys may be married to this person too so do expect a little bit of an argument or headbutting with between the two of you guys but they love you very much and they know that you're the one that they want to be with and everything like that and they're going to continue to try and fight for the connection with the five of swords but there is a lot of red flags that a lot of you guys have noticed between the two of you guys' relationship that you guys seem to ignore quite a bit it's almost like okay well no do you know what they love me they fight for me yes we fight here and there but we always seem to make it work but there's just still something that you're not able to see but it looks like you guys are going to get the clarity that you guys need when this person is arguing with you with the five of wands ace of pentacles and the ace of swords you're going to kind of like see things for exactly what it is and then you're going to be like, oh my God, I remember you did this at five o'clock in the afternoon. Then you did this thing at eight o'clock and then at 10 o'clock in the morning, you also did this. So things are going to start connecting the dots with each other and then you're going to actually start paying attention. And then when you start paying attention to it, you're going to see things for exactly what they are. Ace of Swords, you're going to get the clarity. Visions are going to start literally coming towards you guys. All right. Yes, you guys are with this person. You love them, intimate with each other and everything like this, but... This might be a cycle that you guys are going to have to complete or close off eventually one day in your life, coming with the World Heart Seven of Cups. <sighs> nothing lasts forever. <laughs> Straight up Virgos, Five of Swords, Seven of Cups, the World Card. Nothing lasts forever, okay? Um, maybe this person could potentially be a little bit gaslighting at certain times here too, and you guys are kind of like seeing it for what it is. And you guys are going to try to make a decision on whether or not you guys are going to want to be with this person or not. Virgos, but you guys are very much, you guys love this person, you guys might be married to this person too, and you guys might be dealing with this person, they might be at a psych, like in a cycle here with you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if you guys were to break up or leave this person too, they are going to be very much so nostalgic and thinking about you quite a bit, and this person is going to try and come towards you, somebody here might be trying to do magic to make you miss them or make you think about them as well, and you know Virgo is saying that you guys are just going to continue to move on with your life three of wands like this person no nothing's going to work to make this person to make you go back to this person it's not going to work like I said this shit is blocked two of swords four of pentacles and the eight of pentacles in reverse it's blocked that's it Broop. bye you had your chance you fucked up and it is what it is at this point uh someone's magic could, could be potentially fully blocked 100 percent um you guys have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who wants to come in and talk to you at the moment, Virgos. You guys might be coming literally in with a King of Swords upright. So even if this is your energy or their energy, they're not really... To okay, so you guys, they might want to come towards you, but you guys don't feel like talking to this person. You guys got one, two, three. You guys got three people who are in your energy at the moment. Who are coming in. Didn't I tell you guys with the with the Wheel of Fortune the other day. I said even though we're not in Mercury retrograde. We're, we're in Pluto right now. So Pluto. Pluto has a big thing that's going on right now. Where it's bringing in a lot of toxic people from your past. And it's bringing this energy in towards you guys right now. You guys are supposed to be breaking these cycles with these people. Send them off with love and light. If it didn't work out the first time or the second time and the third time, then you guys went separated. You guys were separated for a while with each other and then you got and they want to come back towards you at now. Then Virgos, please understand that these are cycles that you have to break and Pluto is going to destroy the relationships for you. You don't even have to do anything. Pluto will take care of it for you guys, all right? planets are fucking crazy right now the energy is wild people's pat everyone from people's past are coming back into their life and it's, and it's bringing a lot of destructive energy and that's because of the planet pluto <clears throat> remember what i said don't be manifesting on the two 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 broop, broop, <laughs> two two <laughs> don't be doing stuff like that because planet pluto is a planet of destruction and when you manifest something like that during the 222 portal you're pretty much setting your manifestations to be free to be destroyed that's the last thing you guys would have fucking wanted i don't talk about stuff like that virgos on my youtube channel all right but now they want me to talk about it but i was not advertising it i wasn't saying i'm not saying nothing about it you know if if it's something positive sure i'll talk about it to let you guys know yeah portals here <laughs> wicked but there was nothing good about the two 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 portal. 
uh, Pluto, so I'm gonna have to speak about it, all right? Uh, don't shoot the messenger, Virgos, all right? Um, at the end of the day, you guys got a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's seeing that you are moving on with your life. This person misses you a whole lot too, and they definitely hope that they can get you back or get you back in time before you officially move on, but it looks like you guys are ready to take a road trip and, and, and head out of there with the with the three of wands. Some of you guys might be traveling and going towards water Virgos. And it's going to be a very beautiful place. You guys are going to have a lot of fun. Some of you guys may be sitting and looking at your future and being like, man, I got I got out of all that. I got so far in my life. And I don't want nothing to um, penetrate that in any way, shape, or form, right? But you guys definitely have people from your past who are going to try and come back towards you guys. And you guys might not even want nothing to do with these people. You guys actually may stay silent and become the king of swords on a real note. And you might not say nothing to these people at all. You might, you may just potentially just leave them all on fucking red. And it is what it is, Virgos. You guys are becoming the magicians. You guys are creating your own future at this point. Taking, uh, taking responsibility, you know, taking leadership, becoming the magician, saying like, you know what? The, the future is in my hands. I'm going to create what it is that I want with my life. And that's exactly what you guys are going to do. You guys have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who all want to come back towards you, Virgos. Three people want to come back for you guys. And some of you guys don't want nothing to do with these people. You guys are going to go silent and maybe even hermit yourself too because justice has to be in your hands because you didn't do nothing to these people because they did more so bad onto you guys. Um... Regardless though, Virgos, with the Three of Cups, Four, and the Justice card, somebody here might be having to go to jail or they are in jail right now or they're going to be going into a psych ward or even rehab. Also, Virgos, uh, Three of Cups, Four of Swords, somebody here might have to go to rehab to get healing done. And also for the other ones that could resonate for, this is just a healing process for you guys, Virgos, and it maybe it's best to take, take a step back from all the people who are coming in from your past, who are trying to balance and, and give you justice for what the, for the things that they have done to you. But who it is that they showed you, they showed you who they were the first time. Believe them when they showed you that energy. There's no alteration, alter, alteration, Virgos. You can't alter someone's personality. They showed you who already, they already showed you who they are. Unless you, they coming at you a different, but then manipulation comes in too. And the question is, are you going to be able to see through the manipulation games? Are you able to be advanced in psychology where you're going to be able to call the red flags the moment that this person was able to say, hey, are you able to do stuff like that? You know, so it's very, it's, it's very important to kind of like, sense people's energies motives and and stupid shit all right four cups virgos you guys just don't want nothing to do with anybody at this point you guys just need time to heal take care of yourself you guys have definitely been through a whole lot of shit too with the four of cups you're just not happy with anything that these people have to offer you it's like damn like why does people keep why like why do people keep coming back from this is what you guys are saying like why do people keep coming back from my past like i you want nothing to do with them but why are they still coming back to you after they're the ones that fucking fucking hurt you four cups like uno dos tres cuatro Okay, cuatro Virgos. You guys, somebody here might be dealing with a Spanish person. <laughs> okay, it doesn't have to be, could be, but don't have to be. And you guys are just not happy with whatever this person's trying to bring back towards you guys, right? You gave them way too many time, way too many options. Way, uh, you give them, you maybe you guys have this person has options, Virgos, and you were somebody that was just an option for this person, or vice versa. And that's not wicked, Virgos, all right? Four of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Some of you guys may have even invested in these people for a long time or for a while, but nothing ever got off the ground. And you guys are going to have to sit in your power coming in with the Empress card. Like, you have to remember who it is that you guys are. Fix your crown. Adjust it. Uh, and, and remember who it is that you guys are, Virgos. You guys have definitely gone through a lot of heartache with the Three of Swords. But you guys are picking yourselves up with the Ten of Pentacles or the Seven of Pentacles. You guys are going to be okay. You guys just need to heal your heart space here, right? A stable relationship will eventually come for you guys but it's not going to be from anybody in the past they already showed you who they were uh six of wands virgos all right <sighs> see because you guys are going to start winning at life and start healing yourselves people are people are going to be all fucked up because of of the way that they had treated you 
because you're not showing them that you give a shit about them and you said you know what that's cool like i that, that you showed me that you're so mean to me and you hurt me and you fucked me up ptsd anxiety betrayal the whole nine but you overcome it queen of pentacles you're winning now and you're ready like some of you guys might be always in like survival mode you know what i mean um and fighter mode for that matter if you guys got a gemini libra aquarius who's definitely keeping a huge eye on you virgos this person spies on you quite a bit with the nine of wands to the page of sword energy this person may have feelings for you whatever the case is but they definitely keep a quite close eye on you virgos this person just wants to be with you they see you they want to be with you they want to come towards you they're, they're going to drive very very fast to come for you guys virgos but judgment is going to be prevailing and coming in between the two of you guys they're not this person is not allowed to come to you because you see how judgment is being put up in front of the chariot it's like halt like where are you going where what are you where are you trying to go mm -hmm, like this cancer energy this person thinks that they're gonna be able to come towards you but spirit is gonna have to come in and say like are you deserving of this are you deserving of this virgo you know and reality is is that this judgment is going to tell this cancer pisces scorpio you're not deserving of this virgo you don't deserve Virgo. You don't have to earn them to be coming back. And even if you want to act like you have feelings for them and you love them and you want to offer them something, at the end of the day, you can't offer them anything that we think that they do, that they don't. No, no. Judgment is saying, halt, stop, chariot card. Why are you going back to Virgos for? What is the reason? You think that you can come back into this Virgo's life and act like you're going to love them and be kind to them and everything like that after all the shit that you've put them through? Sorry, we're stepping in judgment. And even if the Virgos do respond back, all Virgos is going to let this person know is like, yo, it's not going to work out. Five of Pentacles, I'm going to leave you out. I don't want to deal with this shit again. And unfortunately for them, it's not going to work out for them in the long run, but it is going to work out better more so for you. The fact that spirit, judgment, angels are intervening in this connection between the two of you guys. And they're not going to let this person come back into your life and hurt you again. For that, you have the ball in your court, page of pentacles, and you're going to own this shit. And you're going to let this... <laughs> no, no thank you. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Five of Pentacles, they might be even trying to beg you for your love and for your attention to come back. But Spirit is saying no. Thanks, cuties. Bye.